two, and three. Hey, good afternoon. Sit and chat with Lonnie and Belen. And today we have Kane Tucker, aka Sam. Uh, today we will be talking about self image, body image. Um, Sam will be sharing his experience, and me and Belen will be putting our little two cents in there and just sharing uh, what we can with y'all. And just let the let this conversation flow, man. We out here. Just let it flow. It feels real good out here too. No, it don't. It's hot out here. Oh, I mean, it's a little <laughs> bit, not too much. <laughs> you don't like it too hot, Sam? No, I say that as I'm drinking hot coffee. So, yeah, that's the South for y'all. <laughs> Gotta love the South. But um, okay. roll tight. So, Alright, so, I mean, we're drinking smoothie. Where's your, guys, where's your smoothie at? My smoothie's about gone, Okay, but so we got Red Owl. About gone, it is gone. It's gone. Look, Sponsor red, us! <laughs> red Owl. Or Kane not, it's okay. Tuck. It's still good. Kane got the uh, black coffee. With two black shots coffee, of two shots of espresso. It needed well, more. Wallberry and Lonnie got much. strawberry. And it's almost, you know, melted because of the heat. As we wear flannels ourselves. Um, So, you want to, you know, go ahead and get get started now so i was excuse the camera um we're just in a little of a sp space you over this one a little bit uh, there we go oh, yeah, there, there we, we go. go hey come you in come fit. in come in all right gotta share the love yes gotta share, the, share love. the love all right self-talk i mean i mean i'm sorry self-image get in the camera baby. oh self-image um came well, I mean, we all struggled with it, right? Oh no, you I know, struggled with it. A part of our it, life, fine. you know, a part of a part of you know going to the gym is you know self image. You know, you go there to yeah, be a, uh, a certain body or you know your preferred body type. Yeah, Every, everybody goes to the gym to work on their self image. Yeah, they 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 got an ideal form that they want to get to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me, that it came a little bit later. Uh, I grew up and was like, I, w I was chunky for a long time, and mm -hmm. I, yeah, a, a very long time. And there was, uh, you know, your family's going to pick at you, but I, oh, I took oh, it a little yeah. bit harder. So yeah. I went three months straight with no food, just water. And mm -hmm. uh, black coffee actually burns more calories than it provides. Mm -hmm. And every morning I'd wake up and drink the whole pot of black coffee plus three months without food so then i got real skinny anorexic and that's why i went to the gym i uh, i looked in the mirror and i seen like a shriveled up like and i was i, I you could count shriveled every real really wow. and i went to the gym and i started building back up but the problem with going to the gym then was every time i looked in the mirror as you know i started putting on muscle mm -hmm. I seen the old me, like the the fat me, mm -hmm. the uh, the 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 old version. Of yeah, yourself. and see, at the time when I was fat, what didn't help me is I I was a late bloomer, oh. so I was short. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't hit no growth spurt until I was seventeen. Wow. Yeah. So uh, that really didn't help with the weight that I had. Mm -hmm. I, you remember Willy Wonka, Chocolate Factory, the little Oompa oh Loompas, that's goodness. what I looked like. That is what I looked you like. You could have been oh that God, for Halloween. I, I, I thought about that many years. Whoa. That that happened. Oh, shoot. But uh, it, it still affects me to the day. Like, I go in there, and I still see the fat me, and then I Body. go home. And, what? you know, I feel tight. I feel swole. Mm -hmm. But I look and down. You and are, I, Sam. I, I you still are. got. You're, 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 like, you, you look know. really good. I still got that little bit of fat. It's, it's um, like I will not be happy until that's gone. But It's in our head. You're, you know? you're not. And sometimes, you can't get rid of yeah, all the fat. That's no, unhealthy. No. Yeah. Like, you see it on the. What really don't help is you see the, uh, like men's fitness all mm -hmm. that the magazines yeah. and all everybody's like ripped they're Duh. like two to three maybe four percent body fat like the but deal, you, you can't you know, maintain they that think. they actually starve themselves to get and, to that and you got to think about it they probably don't maintain that their self all year they probably just do that for the magazine for the yeah. picture of that and then they go back to a regular healthy weight and, they, and then you know what i'm saying they just do that because they i got a photo shoot that they like people who compete they don't they, drink they barely can drink any water because water makes them look fuller mm -hmm. but that's just for the picture after but that for they the go picture, back but you know it's a toxic uh i would say it's toxic for that but if you want to do that that's mm -hmm. 
you know, there's a hard, the harsh truth, you, you have to look skinny. And what was Kane talking about was body dysmorphia. Yeah, if you that. struggle with it, you already know how it feels like. It feels, it feels horrible. Um, you know. And I think taking it positive, what uh, Kane said is, uh, he said he will never be satisfied. We <laughs> got you, man. Oh, uh, Kane was saying that he'll never be satisfied because he'll never lose that fact. And if you want to take that in a positive way, because we, I, I'll never be satisfied. No, you know everybody that goes to the gym, but we want to kind of use that in a positive way to keep us going to the gym. You know, because we don't ever want to stop. We want to keep going to keep ourselves healthy. So we just have to kind of reverse that in a positive way because we're like we're never going to be perfect. So it, you know, it's a good thing to think of that, but think about it in a positive way instead of a negative. Yeah. <clears throat> The way I've had to do it is uh, I just had to change my mentality on mm-hmm. it. So, like, instead of trying to get to the uh, skinny, perfect image or try to get to what I thought was a perfect image, yeah, I just had to, like, you know when you go in there, you got reps, you got sets, you know how much you can do and all. I had to just take it into a mindset of what I wanted to live because I also look around in there and you see, like, the real swole people. I'm talking about the people that's benching, like, 300, 400, something. I don't want that. No, and you I know, won't, yeah. My mind said I was like, I'm gonna get to where I can bench and 200 then, or maybe just a little bit over 205 because you can't evenly get a solid 200 on there with the weights. So I was gonna get to like the two around the 200 mark doing it for reps and sets, like three sets of 10, 15. If I can get the 200 down and be able to stay constant with that, then I'm just going for the uh, reps, reps, you know. Keep because on adding reps. Because repetitions, you know, muscle mind connection. That's you know we yeah. learned that in. That that'll our, put me at the size I want. Then I can just work on the definition. Same thing with oh, curling. Yeah. Get, get up to one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I feel but like I definitely think Sam has came a long way. I mean, we don't he, know he's come back then. Since you know I met him, you know he's he's been doing good at the gym. You know he looks stronger. You, you know you look. Like you enjoy working out. I do. And it's, I enjoy. It's awesome. I enjoy the burn. It's awesome. You know, I've worked out with Sam. He and that's is what strong. keeps you going, enjoying the burn, like you said. He is strong. You, know, you gotta fall in love with the pain. Yeah, you do. That it's a pain, pain. Game. But hey. Don't don't go by yourself. I will say that. Don't go by yourself because you can't push yourself like you can when there's people there. Because when you got people, you got two things going on. One, you got somebody that can spot you. You yep. got somebody that can help with a stronger weight because you need the heavier weight if you mm. want to build anything. Two, you got people there you're trying to impress, which means you can show off more and you feel more motivated. You feel more motivated to show off. You damn right I'm trying to show off for the ladies. I'm trying to show off for the girls. Ladies, ladies, not girls. Ladies. Ladies, that's right. We need mature. Ladies, yeah. Need the mature ones. Ladies, let me do for ladies. You know, you know, good mind. I'm like, yes, like I'm looking to vibe with one, not take care of one. Oh, period. Preach to him, Sam. This is preach. So, I um, I had a question. I just forgot about it. So why but you need that caffeine? I need right caffeine there. a caffeine, little bit it, to kind of get me concentrated. Lonnie, you got you so got a question yeah, for us? yeah. So I know you mentioned this in the beginning. Um, you said that, which is you know I didn't know this about Sam, but you said that you struggle with anorexia. anorexia. Oh, yeah. Um, oh yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's I, a three months. Like really? I actually proved signs wrong with that. I am proud of that moment. I hate that I had to go through that, to but I'm proud of what I proved because you and know how old were you? Uh, this was back in 2020. I was oh, this is not 17. Long ago. Yeah, this no, is two years. Yeah, two years. Uh, I got COVID in December, and my this was when COVID first came out. It was 2019, going on 2020. My folks were like, "No, nah, we got to stay moving." You know, they wanted to get out and walk. That helps. It it helped everybody because everybody mm-hmm. got COVID. Oh yeah. I actually got it. Didn't know I had it. Uh, I thought no that symptoms. I, no symptoms, no nothing. I didn't know I got it until I went to go get blood, mm-hmm. and they said you got antibodies. That happened to me three different times. I've had all well, back when there were only three mm-hmm. strands. I had all three strands. All never three. knew I had it. Oh hell, he got the bad one. <laughs> I never knew I had it, but so, uh, so I got out there and I started walking. And then this was the time when I was doing dual enrollment, so I was going high school and college. Ooh, getting was, the extra credits. You damn right. Smart. So, and started work. That was my first year starting work. I started Waffle House. So I I had no time at the house. They never seen me. So I was like, this is the time I can do this. So I got tired of hearing, you know, constantly about my weight, 
and uh I grew up as part of a uh, I don't know I, I reckon it could be adoption going through some of the households I did mm -hmm. it was almost some of them you never knew when you were getting them that's true so oh. I, I reckon I just grew up just constantly every time there was food Moving. I'm thinking to eat oh, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. also was one of them people that ate my emotions Oh. so you know when yeah. I got angry bro, we, I went we to understand. eat yeah. I we, went we both to understand. eat yeah. but my mine was fat food, so I. Oh, fat yeah, food! Yeah, you talking about like the honey buns oh, and shit like that. That was my Ch favorite. Junk oh. food, and it it was hard to put it down. It really was. I had to cut out all drinking, all food, all wow. that other stuff. But science Soda. is like you can only go like forty days, I think it is, without without eating. any food. Bro, I took it three months, so I am proud of that I, accomplishment. I feel like it was a Coffee. Now that the, the one no, one. actually, the coffee was taken away more than it was giving me. So, but it was giving you energy to keep on going. That so my true. question is like, and when the, I was about to say, in the fourth month, I did pick up a little bit. It was a protein shake in the morning with the coffee, but that was it. So that basically, means, four months without food. Yeah. So, so uh, when you started energy. going through 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 those months, how did it affect you mentally? Because you know, food it it it, it in uh fulfills us with mental energy too uh mental energy was gone i can say after the first couple weeks of, without eating uh the hunger pains were gone i never felt hungry but uh mentally is always in a fog and i was going through college taking the uh industrial systems so you had your coding for industrial stuff you had to uh, think about your wiring uh all your conversion factors with the uh figuring out voltage amperage current all you need for uh the system that you're working on yeah uh that Excuse that me. that was a struggle because it was it was all like technical high grade stuff you mm -hmm. had to know and i'm in there in a fog like i don't even know what's going on I, uh, that's just, just kind of like zone uh, like, like, i can't imagine dissociating that. that's that's the word. So, yeah disassociating yeah. yes you know i get and that, you there. that still happens so. that still happens that's part of another mental disorder i actually do have a couple of them but that that falls in line with that so that just got wow. worse yeah i mean you know since you don't have any food in your system your your all your systems are kind of like lagging oh your mental big lag. your your emotional your 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 hunger receptors or you ever been playing like call of duty and you're right there fixing <laughs> yes. you take the shot and it just but lags you and you die oh. but you're still lagged there but you're and there you're, just like and you're upset. not moving oh. just, that 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 was the feeling i was lagged in the game just like in the game you feel like you were in the game just like but you know you were gonna do it but it's I like couldn't. i can't do that. so when you're going through that do you experience starvation because the I mean, feeling of starvation sucks like for example when Belen, Belen starts getting hungry she's I get getting hungry. mad I'm, I'm all, mad I don't want to kill it that's <laughs> like the first week and it's gone but I took I, like I reckon it was just the sheer will of wanting to lose it because I was in welding classes also. Yeah. And I oh, had besides the welding jacket everything. I had a regular jacket on welding jacket on Bro, I was sweating everything off. So you were like that you probably didn't even have that. I'll, I'll put it this way. Ooh. I'll put it this way. The highest thing I've ever been able to bench, I was back in high school and I could do 200, 210. Uh, when I first got in the gym, when I first started back out here, I could barely do the bar just because of, without all that eating and everything, sweating everything off. I burned through not only my fat but the muscle too and that is something I did not realize I thought I'd just dump off the fat get to the gym be able to do the two something but no but uh -uh. I, you know once you start losing to more more fat than muscle your your fats I mean, I mean I feel like your body's eating its own muscle to kind of survive I feel like that's yeah. three months where I was about to say your body's you, gotta you have thought you a were certain lose, you know gaining fat. muscle but then you're lo actually losing muscle as well mm -hmm. as losing fat so it, it is important nowadays you know to get a at least a good meal a, a good big meal in the day if you can't eat you know two or three um also uh you know i've struggled you know with body dysmorphia but not as bad as you know sam over here yes you know i see people i don't know i feel like people you know want to tell me hey you've been to the gym for i don't know how many months and you still look the same you have you ever felt like somebody's gonna be like, no, you're lying. I still look the same. No, my, my, I actually think it about myself sometimes. Like my sister, she uh, I put it this way, 
Uh, also, last year, December the 23rd, I got in that wreck, right? Oh. Yeah, I told y'all about the wreck. I got in the wreck, died, yeah. broke almost everything, was in the hospital in Tallahassee for several weeks, got out after eating nothing but chicken broth and all. I dropped down from the 155, being able to bench 185, curling to 100. Like, I was right there at the curling mark that I wanted. Wow. Yeah, he got you. Uh, I got back here and I could only put a 25 on each end of the bar because it, because sitting up, not doing nothing, only drinking, the, yeah, yeah, like rehab, only drinking the uh, chicken broth that wasn't enough to sustain me. So now it's eating away at my muscles. I look like I did back when I first started going mm -hmm. to the gym. So what the hell are we talking about? So that just puts you kind of yeah, back that that put me back at square again. one. Yeah. So, you know, and you still felt like your body was, you know, yeah, wasn't progressing this, like the way you wanted it to. She asked me today, because, you know, I've I've gotten a good bit stronger in the gym. I'm back able to, what is it? Like, Boy, you is doing real good. Like What is that? Uh, 45, a 10, and a 5 on each end. What's that? 15, 45, 50, 60, 120. 165 i'm benching 165 at like 150 weight that's uh, come on that's already good you you passing your he, body weight. curling he, he. 80 for reps uh she say. asked me today she was like how much do you weigh because i was weighing like 140 at the time i was barely reaching 140 138 some mornings um she was like how much do you weigh and when i first started going to the gym because I had to wait a little bit because of work and all. I wasn't able to get to the gym immediately. So I, I ate myself, got started eating a little bit more, got back to the 150 mark. She was like, how much do you weigh? And I'm like, 155. Wow. When I eat, 140-something when I don't eat or when I wake up in the morning. When I yeah, haven't yeah. ate, 140-something. By the end of the night, I'm like 150-something. Might hit 160 if I ate a you know big supper. And she was like, well, how much you And I was like, I really ain't gained nothing. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm working out like I can I, I can see the results, weight. but I'm not not gaining muscle weight, and that it's it still does something to you as far as I'm not really gaining. So how yeah. do you feel? I mean, I mean, you went from from this to your to you know you, you starved yourself almost to death. But you brought yourself up. You went in that wreck, and you're working on yourself. Yeah, again. I'm working how, on myself, and again. and you're doing really great. You look really great. How do you feel right now with your confidence and your mental health? Uh, confidence. When I'm in there, I got confidence. Like when I see what I'm doing, I got confidence. But when I when I get out and I look in the mirror, I'm like, my arms to me still look like that. Mm -hmm. They still look like the Small. anorexic self. And I look in the yeah. mirror and I'm still seeing the fat. And I'm like, so when I'm in the gym, I have the confidence. When I leave, I ain't got it, which... It affects just kind of takes a lot of stuff in your, life. Your yeah, and yeah, it. You just said it will affect a lot of stuff in life because when we go to the gym, you're supposed to feel good about your mm -hmm. workout. You're supposed to leave I'm happy because we go in there, and a lot of people go to go release stress. You know, work stress, uh, stress. Just, just just stress in general. <laughs> yeah, so stress. when you leave wherever you work out, you're supposed to leave good. Mm -hmm. So, um, what is something that that Belen that we can tell Sam that can help him like instead of leaving that gym he feels good there but when he leaves he said he leaves with like a like a like you know like it really ain't done like yeah. your like dopamine empty. just wore off your adrenaline your like confidence and all the good things that you want to feel when you're out the, outside the gym it just kind of just wears off and you look at yourself in the mirror that's why I don't look at myself in the mirror <laughs> when I go home after the gym because I that's feel like I oh I myself. still look the same yeah I don't weigh myself like I, I know I'm <laughs> I strong my clothes. no for real I know I'm strong but you know I don't strong I don't please look. I, I'm stronger than I I, I'm I look I'm, I'm stronger than I look <laughs> No, you know, I, I oh, I've seen you doing my, I've seen you doing uh, my weight today. You, you the getting same. there. No, you Sam getting is there. strong, strong now. <laughs> Listen. He's the strongest one on here. <laughs> but, you know, it's a struggle that, you know, sometimes we can't just get rid of, like, it's, it's, no, it's, yeah, it it's going to be okay. But what's, what do you think is something that we can tell Sam? I'm trying to think of something, something that, that I do. Okay. You know, I think you're doing awesome. I think, uh, like you said, working out with people. Oh, yeah. Gotta it's have a people. good thing. It motivates um, me. Yeah, it motivates today, you. That motivates me to yeah. go more than, you know, two times. Well, I say, mm, 
two times than what I usually do. She had that heavy weight. It's like, bro, you got to get that That's last one in. Last so one Sam, in. So, oh. Sam, I think what it is, we just, we just, we just found the answer right here. Making friends and working out with them. And I feel like, ha- like no, having positive people in your life. Positive, positive people. people and optimistic with them. people. Positive people who will tell you. You know how hard it is know, to find that nowadays, though? It is so fucking hard. It but really is. You be- whoever you think and you become, you're going to attract the same people. But you have to be in that frequency to attract those people. So you have to be strong and be like, you know what? I'm like, and just, just talk. I mean, everybody in this world is just like me and you and Belen. We all are shy and nervous. I was about to say, oh, that's yeah, the problem. All... Nobody wants to talk no more. Uh, hey, yeah, we're living in a yeah, society that, where, that, you know, that, it's that all about really phones, I mean, social media. I mean, the society everything. is calm to that. Nobody wants to talk no more. They really don't. Well, me and Belen do sit and well, chat I with mean, us. That, 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 that's <laughs> the reason why I'm here. Sit chat hey. with us. But we do. But, yeah, I think I think you, you, you're doing great. You came, you came back. You know, people say stuff happens to us, and I think this time, you know, they say, "Oh, I, I came out stronger." I think you are. You're, you're um, talking more to people, and that's gonna take you long ways, and you're gonna see talking that. Talking more to people, mm-hmm. looking for a woman. Ooh, Ooh no! Hey, I found, I found, I found a he's new single. reason to go to the he's gym. He's single, okay? No. He's single. <laughs> so, y'all know. Let us know your woman. It's an anonymous, but you know, yeah. it's you know having that little extra push of, mm. but you know. You know, you gotta focus on yourself first. You know, focus on, you know, on, on yourself before you try to focus on somebody else. Because what the if you get disappointed? The ladies will come. Oh, yeah. They will come. come. But the body they will come. Ex- Love yeah. your Patience. body Patience. because you only get one body to exactly. live in. This is your home. So, but I will say, when you're over there at the gym and the, the, a woman just walks there beside you and you're over there, you about to give up. And she's like, no, I got oh, this. Yeah. I got this. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> inside you're kid you're hurting yeah inside you're crying but outside it's like i got this so yeah so it's it's um to really um excuse what happened i don't know okay <laughs> but anyways um yeah but yeah <laughs> i didn't know what just happened um but um we're the self image part. body image possible you know, we're all, I'm all about body positivity. I, you know, I've always been skinny, but I never thought I was skinny. So I, you know, I thought of myself like, oh yeah, I'm chunky. Because everybody told me, you're getting weight. So I understand how Sam feels, you know, with your family picking at you. Of course they will, because they don't know better. Yeah. They, they don't, don't, know they don't I love that. At especially times, in, you know, in, they, at yeah. Sometimes, you know, just depending on the family, sometimes. They do it out of spite sometimes because yeah. they, they hate, take it too they far they hate seeing you have progress yeah in my my opinion a bunch of times when it comes to the uh they do it out of spite they see you like for me my family uh, there was a bunch of the people that said it were you know chunkier themselves and it's like <laughs> yes. they see themselves they, in you and they don't yes. like themselves they so they take it out that. on you yes sam yes I look at me being a that's psychiatrist that's but yes, yes sir. but that's, oh, that's yes. true though and that's why you shouldn't that's why i'm gonna put y'all together yeah so belen said they don't know better Mm -hmm. and they see they self in you that's the thing they don't know better and because the way that they're they're telling sam or they tell you is because that's how they see they self that's why we say be kind be kind because that's how you treat yourself Mm -hmm. be kind to yourself so you can be kind to others then people ain't kind with they self they don't love they self they they don't love they self they image so they put it on you and they're picking at you yeah yeah they don't know know, me and and lani were talking about this um earlier how people just they just hate seeing you thrive they just you know they hate seeing you um i don't know and sometimes you know when people get to you we kind of just take it out on some some other people you know it's they tell you don't listen to them ignore them but it's hard when it's like constant every day um you know sometimes we don't have time to work out sometimes we have so much to do that we can only do a a rep or two. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, uh, you know, work like out. Like, y'all leave me halfway through my work. Yeah, because, you know, you know, we're <laughs> always, we're always under, on the run. Y'all now. are. And I understand that because I get there a little bit later, but that's because I got two jobs. Yeah. Like, and I'm fixing to pick up schooling, but I, I'm yeah. still trying to make the time and for the gym. Sam is always busy, you too. You got to know but, what you know, all them ladies. Mom, you're going to have to make time. <laughs> got to make time. Got to make time. <laughs> but Sam. I love, I love to, to, to see, I see Sam growing and, um, uh, so you, how long you been working out after since the incident? Since the incident, 
in December, no? He just came back. Yeah, when, 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 when was it that I started? I think I started uh, end of July, beginning of August. Okay. So, so actually, been, what, from about three, four months? Three to four months, I went from putting a 25 on each end to putting, what's that, like 60 on each end plus the bar. So, well, I think I think we would love to see Sam in a couple of months, and we would love to have another episode so they can see With your Sam. progress. Oh, yeah. And we see can always, your body, you know. You know we can oh, talk about, uh, you know. About the body. body. No, I think know. just him showing his body progress. Because he been, you got to understand, oh, this yeah. man just talked about. He went from chunky to anorexic to uh to an also, incident you know, accident um, Belen. so now he's gonna work and he wants to get bigger so i would love for our audience to see that if sam can do it everybody else can do it and for them to love themselves and i feel by then sam will grow bigger in four months yeah and um just share we're with not everybody. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really just trying to get back to the way i was because at the time i was training for the military so yeah, yeah was I, 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 I was you know? built for the military and now I just want to get back to that point. I want to mm -hmm. get back to the. I felt good then. I really did. I felt good. I started seeing myself better. Um, every once in a while, I'd look in the mirror and still see the old me. But at that same time, I, I'll put it this way. I was looking. I, this was an incident. I was looking in the mirror that morning. I seen myself. At that time, I had a uh, girlfriend. She took a picture. I seen it on Snapchat later on that day. And I was like, damn, I really look like that? Like, I, I seen myself in the true light then. I was like, Yeah. And every once in a while that happens to me now. Like, I'll be at work at Target and they got a full body mirror. I'm over there washing my hands, getting ready to go back to work. And I look over there and I'm like, dang. Damn. Is, is that, that what I look like? <laughs> That's good. Keep that mindset. Always be like, damn, I look good. I'm handsome. Because whatever you tell yourself, that's how the world's going to look at you. If you look at yourself and be, ugly, yeah. uh, I'm a piece of, sh you know. That's how people. You you gotta build your confidence. Yeah. You gotta build your. Because people your, will look at brave, you. You know, be brave the way to be. You look at yourself. Make them uncomfortable. You know, make them uncomfortable with how you look because they're well. You know, not not in a bad way, but you know, they're they're always gonna be haters out there. Oh, they're yeah. always gonna be people who be like, you could you know you could do this better, or you know, you should be, you know, more. I would say more fit. I mean. We can't do nothing about them, but you know, in you know, us that we could do, you know, to try to. How could I put this in the words? Trying to, you know, get rid of them and then just focus on ourselves. It's just gonna like ignore them, you know. It's yeah, hard to though, but you know, you just have to. Yeah, because I mean, a, a bunch of people, they, I understand what you're saying, because a bunch of people, they, I feel like they just don't like themselves. They don't like who they are, what they look like, and. But at the same time, they're not trying to do nothing about it. So when yes. they see you doing something about it, they feel angry at themselves. So they take it out on that's you. That's the yes. words I was trying to do. Yes. yes, that was you know you took that out right from. And mom. that's that's the thing, Sam and Belen. Whenever we feel bad about ourselves, oh, like I'm too fat or whatever you want to say. I don't like the way they look. Guess what? Too fat, too skinny. Who can too do weak. something about it? Yeah, you're we're not the only perfect. one. What can you do? Work out and eat better. Don't complain about doing perfect. those two. Exactly. And they're not perfect either. So no. they shouldn't be judging us, especially if they don't look like and every, even close to I was about to say like. everybody is made a different way. Everybody's mm -hmm. gonna look different. Like I'll put it this way, there's some people they they want just the size, but their body ain't made for the size. Yeah. I mean you can get to a certain extent, but your body really ain't made for it. And they if I understand this right, like they have a test for it, right? So, uh, like with your arms, mm -hmm. they got a test, and if you can stick your two fingers right there, in between your bicep and where you make a ninety degree at your arm, you're not, you can't get like as big as somebody is like, the rock, mm -hmm. like you you can't get that big, but you can get big enough for your body type. Yeah, <laughs> what you do? <laughs> Everybody going to test it. I I have the two inch mark, but you know who actually has Sorry. the two inches? Uh, what's his name? Stallone. Uh, Stallone. What? Stallion, he did the wrong. Stallone. He did the Rocky movies. Yeah. Stallion, oh yeah. I don't See, know his he name. has. I I can't remember his name neither. But he has actually like a the, two finger gap right there. And you wow. know he's big for his size. Yeah. He's strong too. Like yeah. He, I mean, he's but you. Everybody's made differently. Yeah. So uh, you it's can't all, compare genes, yourself to other people. You know, diet. And that and comes workout. with loving yourself and accepting you accepting yourself. Unconditional. 
and just that's do it. do what you do best. That's right? it, guys. Yeah. But this has got to be the most motivational thing ever. Yes, <laughs> because it. You know, we're all about motivating people. The, the, I and, can say and this I is love, a change. And this is Sam. You Sam sharing your story. You haven't uh, letting you know our audience know what like it's like. I never been through that. I've been through. And this, you know, it's good to you know, know all the people because you know that you get an abuse. Of there's the always someone who has it worse. And yeah, that's, that, that's the way you got to look at it. Yep. Like, if, if you're feeling bad about yourself, for one, you got to look at yourself and see, are you doing anything about it? And for two, yep. if you can't think of nothing positive for yourself, I always think there is somebody that's got it worse. Yep. There will always be somebody that's got it worse. Somebody, there will always be somebody that's better than you. That but there's always somebody, grateful. there's a bunch of people that has got it worse than you. And, sometimes and it will always you know, be you like might be that. better than them. So, yeah. some people, you know... I'm gonna say this. Um, some you might be someone's role model. Yeah. And so somebody else. Is you know, everybody is role somebody's model. role model. Yes. Everybody's somebody's role model. And that's you know the quote of the. Day. I gotta yeah. put that on a shirt. No, I think I can sell shirts. Hey, we're gonna have shirts. But um, I think we're going about thirty minutes now. Um, I hope uh, y'all enjoy enjoy this conversation with. Uh, it was Kay. pretty good. It's AKA intense. AKA we know Sam. straight to the point. Yeah. And that's you know how we we are. We're not about you know show recording anything. Everything's real here, as y'all can see. But I think uh, we're gonna close it off. Um, thank you. Thank you, you Sam. Sam. And y'all can. Uh, thank y'all for letting me be here. We love it. We're gonna we appreciate see him. it. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate it. it. And um, we're going to invite Sam again. Sam's going to go hard. And he's just going to share how he continued to be positive and put a little weight on him or go back to his uh, dream body or whatever you want to call he's it. He's going to build his yeah. dream body. He, you know what? Money, manifest it. Manifest. He has. Manifest. Already he see that has. person in the mirror. Yes. Oh, see yeah. that person in the mirror. In the mirror. But um, you can uh, y'all can listen to us to on our, pod, on our <laughs> podcast on Spotify. Don't on sit and chat with Lonnie and Belen, and y'all can watch us on our YouTube channel as well. All right, and then uh, follow our YouTube social too? medias on the link in bio. We will put we will put his um. You got social media, man? No, I ain't got social media. Yeah, well, well he'll be back on here, so don't worry. And he's single, okay? All right. Oh yeah, man. remember that? I am single. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm <It's> right. just jokes. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. See y'all. See y'all next time. Bye.